You gotta know what you wanna do. You gotta dedicate yourself to it. You gotta wake up thinking about it. Go to work thinking about it. Go to bed thinking about it. You gotta dream about it. I put my life on this. Hand to God. Other hand on my chest. I like these eyes. Rich Side Farm, Rich Side K9. Coming to you with Mr. Crash and Mr. Blaze. We are out in town uh, continuing to work on our environmental conditioning and exposure and trying to just let these dogs see as much real world activity as often as possible. This is how they're earning their breakfast. So obviously I have a lure and the lure right here for some things are food, some things it's not food. And as they do what I like, they get a clack clack on the clicker and they get some kibble. And this is all new to them. This is a new time we've been to this area. And you got to really take that into consideration when you watch these pups. They're on a flexi lead right now. There's no tension at all on the flexi lead. It's going out and coming in on their own. They could do this 100% off leash. However, we're in an active area. There's traffic, there's people, there's cars, there's, you know, I can't afford to have an accident happen or get one of my puppies hurt by accident. So here I'm basically making them touch up, put their paws, put their nose on whatever I tell them to. You know, I can't make up some of this environmental situations at my house. So having them going over these metal grates, jumping up on things, going around things, walking on this edge right here where there's a big drop off and water on one side and me on the other. I mean, it's just fantastic for them and for their mental development. So here we're going inside. And again, if it looks like I'm doing things twice, you know, these are two different puppies. If you pause the video, you'll see one with a white collar and one with a blue collar. And we're going inside this pet store. It's a very nice pet store. It's kind of a hippie pet store. I actually love it. But um, we're going in here and just letting them absorb all the odors. There's people. There's other dogs. There's cats. There's fish. There's toys. There's food. Anything you could want is in this store. So I'm just getting to focus on me and, and pay attention. And no matter what the distractions are, you know, I'm asking you to jump up here or put your nose or put your paws here. You got to do it. And if you do it, you get paid. And his payment right now is eating his breakfast. And, you know, I really couldn't ask for more out of these young pups right now. They're just doing fantastic. Their confidence is through the roof. Their environmental exposure is daily. They see a new place, a new task every day. And they're doing, you know, really fantastic. Right here, we're doing some drills right next to cats. Uh, and, again, all I'm asking him to do is, is just stay focused on me. Stay enthusiastic. You know, go with full power. Here we're in my basement. I made a little obstacle course for them so they could earn their dinner. And you're going to see that right now. We're going to start by going over a roller chair. They got to jump over the chair. The chair moves as they jump off. The chair moves over a backpack, onto a fan, some slippery surface tops, over a Christmas tree, onto a hard surface suitcase, onto a soft surface suitcase, up onto a shelf covered in trash, and then into the corner on top of some boxes. This may look very simple. Keep in mind, these are very young pups. I'm not saying this is high level or pretending it is, but you know this is how they earn their food. So their confidence is dramatically growing. Their environmental confidence is, is through the roof. Uh, right here, you know, this chair is moving. He's still eating his food. He doesn't care. And we get number two out. We put number one away. And he comes out. He knows it's time to work. And we move the chair. He's already trying to make me happy. He's already trying to start the game. I didn't ask him to get on the chair, but he knows I wanted to do something. And that's what we're looking for. You're going to see him here. I think he gets hung up right here. Yeah, he gets hung up on the chair. Doesn't care. As soon as he gets himself free, he's right back into the action. Um, hard suitcase, soft suitcase, up onto the shelf, back into the corner, and he gets his handful of food. And right here, I turn on a uh, shop vac, very, very loud, hard exhaust fan on, and blows out a lot of air, but we're going to do these reps with that on. Get number one back out. Again, a little bit of excitement there. Smack my leg with the stick. I want him to condition to all that as, you know, come to the stick. You see somebody smacking a weapon, go to that. And... It's just something fun for sport later. So having them go back over everything, work on their environmental um, conditioning as much as possible, going over those fans, back onto the chairs. Again, with everything running in the background, dogs barking, fan going, but they're staying focused, and that's fantastic. That's what we want. Give them the same picture as before. You still want to train, make it positive. Over that, onto the fan, the boxes, the slippery surface. And I think I, I hold him up here. That was my mistake. I, I stopped him because of the placement of my hand. I got to be careful on that. I'll bring him back and reset it up and boom, successful. Bring him up into the corner, let him get his hand full of food and bring him out. 
Jumping up is one thing, jumping down is a different experience. Anything you want a dog to do, they have to see it. They have to physically do it. You have to show them step by step or it's not fair. Put them into a sit there on the fan, gain focus, call them over, up onto the shop back, get his handful of food. That's it, Richside Farm, Richside Canine. Come out and see us. Let us know if you have any questions about puppies or need some help.